Good morning, I'm Elizabeth Ashley, the secret healer, and I am the face of the front of the Beyond the Essential Oil Recipe Summit. And uh, a couple of days ago, I put um, a little poll on for people to vote. I was interested to know how many of you had actually heard of me, and how many of you had read my books, and to how many of you I was a complete stranger. And it turns out, at the moment, it's looking about a third of you. I've never heard of the secret healer and so I thought you know what I'm going to introduce myself because if you come on the summit you're going to be thinking well do you know I'm a bit sick of this woman she's talking ever such a lot to these people and I have no idea who she is so let me tell you a little bit about you so first of all welcome to the secret healers shed this is a, a big shed that is this colour blue outside and obviously lavender inside and uh, it sits outside my house in Ludlow it's in, which is in Shropshire just on uh, close to the border of England and Wales. I uh, live in beautiful rolling hills and it's very very green and at the moment next door but one are having a new roof put on so you may well hear a lot of banging and soaring in a minute and that's uh, two very nice looking young men doing this some dig is some uh, putting literally a new roof on a zinc roof i understand so that's exciting and also behind me is a railway line so you may hear trains going past too so who am i 25 years professional experience i uh, graduated from the jill bruce school of aromatherapy which was in warsaw uh, in the west midlands in 1993 with um diploma of aromatherapy i went on to study the advanced diploma of aromatherapy which focused on things like um miasm which is the inherited capacity for illness how to remove environmental toxins and petrochemicals uh what else um can't remember <laughs> It'll come to me anyway. So, uh, yes, yeah, so advanced diploma of aromatherapy. Then I went on to train as uh, a medical dowser. If you are not familiar with that, we use a pendulum, which basically is very close, uh, very similar to water divining, that we have a yes, no question. And we uh, go through, I use it for determining what kind of essential oils will help people, but also things like... Um, vitamins and minerals, um, various homeopathic remedies, that kind of thing. Um, particularly, I focus on vitamins and minerals and essential oils. So that was my uh, medical dowsing. And then I also went on to do a medical astrology diploma, which is um, probably the thing that influences my work the most. Um, I'm not an astrologer. My mum is, is an aromatherapist um, and an astrologer and actually she is the Jill Bruce that ran the Jill Bruce School of Aromatherapy. She was one of the founder members of the International Federation of Aromatherapists in the UK. She's trained under a lady called Patricia Davis who's a very famous aromatherapist in the 1980s and the reason she did this was she was working as a professional clairvoyant and uh, astrologer and she was seeing so many people who were coming to her in inordinate amounts of pain with arthritis in particular rheumatism and she wanted to try and find a way to be able to help those people reduce their levels of pain and um, <laughs> she tells a lovely story of how she went into the library and she looked on the bookshelves and this book fell out on the floor in front of her and uh, she picked it up and it was Patricia Davis's book about aromatherapy. So she went home and <laughs> actually it says a lot about my mum and dad's relationship, this story does. She went home and said to dad, I'm going to go and study this. And he was like, well, what is it? And she went, I don't know, I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> and uh, so she did, she went and studied and found that she had this incredible gift with essential oils. And incidentally, she still works as an aromatherapist. She has an Etsy shop. Um, and if you wanted to look it up, you put a, the apothecary and then the number one into the Etsy toolbar and her work comes up. Mainly she um, makes perfumes now. Um, but at the time, she has this tremendous gift for being able to put her hands on somebody and be able to feel the vibrations of the essential oils that they need. 
similar, I guess, to um, how Robbie's ex um, aromatic kinesiology works on vibrational healing and and mum is extraordinary at this but also she did a lot of work on understanding what essential oils are ruled by what planets and then of course because of her astrology background she knew the philosophies behind the planets and i find that incredibly interesting so 25 years probably my entry perhaps onto the world stage if you like happened in well, it started, I would say, in 2008 when I had been working in the recruitment industry for a long, long time and I fell shockingly pregnant. And I say shockingly because um, I already had two children and I was filling out university applications for them. And then I had this horrific period and went to the doctors <clears throat> and she was like, mm, don't know what's going on, must be fibroids. And... Uh, so she sent me for a scan and on the scan was the lady said where was your last period and i said well i can tell you exactly it was five weeks ago if you look at the date i last came and she went yeah yeah that was a baby implanting that were those awful pains that you had and that was a good start to my little boy's dexter's <laughs> hideous pregnancy uh at eight weeks i uh contracted a or developed a blood clot in my lungs which meant I really couldn't work in the job that I was doing before because I couldn't speak and my job was predominantly a telesales operator and the business that I was working for was um, making cuts and I was made redundant and within weeks my husband was always all, also made redundant from his job and so we had to find a way to make some money and so, do you know, I was just looking on the internet and I saw this job. Somebody wanted a, to ghostwrite a book about cheesecakes. And those people who follow my pages will tell you, I have somewhat of an affinity with cake. <laughs> I'm not a size eight, for a very good reason. I am a good baker. And uh, so I thought, you know what, I can do that. I charged a ridiculously low amount of money. The man must have been rubbing his hands and going, oh my goodness, you'll write it for that. And um, although the truth of the matter was, I'd never made a cheesecake. <laughs> and uh, so that summer, we tried out 27 rep recipes of different cheesecake. And consequently, my family aren't really very struck when I say I'm going to make a cheesecake now because we ate that many. But um, the book went instantly to number one bestseller on Amazon. So it didn't have my name on it, but uh, it was clear that I could write. And so this gentleman asked me if I would write about a couple of other things so I did and then it just happened that I was tendering for some work because I've got good at tendering for ghostwriting by then and somebody said I need somebody to write an aromatherapy course and I thought you know what I know a bit about aromatherapy <laughs> just a bit and uh, I thought you know I'm gonna have a go at this so I tended for the work and I can remember going to France actually on my holidays and I can remember writing the first um, essay in my mother-in-law's uh, the first chapter in my mother-in-law's living room about the olfactory system and I sent it over and the lady said wow <laughs> this is really really good so what else can you do so I did the whole of her course for her and um, then became one of her primary writers for men, um, for uh, alternative medicine and I was became clear several things first thing was I knew quite a lot about aromatherapy but secondly was I was clever at being able to write very very simply for people to understand but thirdly which was great for me I could write very very fastly in fact fastly quickly and produce huge amounts of information that was easy to understand and correct uh in a short amount of time so for me I was like oh money 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 <laughs> But um, in amongst that, both my husband and some of my best friends were just going, you're being silly. Your books are just going to number one straight away. I'd had seven number ones in a, in a, um, in a row. You need to stop this. You need to stop writing for other people and you need to write something in your own name. So, do you know what? I, and actually, there's a crux here that you'll see history repeats itself. Now... I sit here and I seem quite confident on the screen and I seem quite confident when you see me at um, conferences. But in actual fact, 
really not. I'm a very shy person and I don't like confrontation. I don't like putting myself out there. But this here, this, con this conversation is easy for me because I had trained for so many years in telesales and to me this feels like telesales. But going out there and putting my name out was terrifying but I thought you know what I'm gonna try and think about how to do it and I sat for a long long time thinking about it and then I went to an empowerment workshop now actually the workshop itself didn't really do huge amounts for me I didn't learn that much but what I saw was lots of people telling people the most most basic stuff about mind body spirit medicine and they were clearly going out and getting paid quite a lot of money for something that I'd learnt on my first aromatherapy workshop on the first day you know this was really basic stuff and I thought you know what that's silly that I am missing out on that because I can do it better than that and what's more not only could they it was their content not that strong but the thing that I could see more than that was these people had got a lot to teach people, you know, mind, body, spirit's important stuff, but they had no idea how to go out and sell it. And that's what I'd become good at when I was in recruitment. I can see business opportunities and I know how to tailor them. And so, you know what I thought I'm going to write? That's the book I'm going to write. Now, hey, where is it? It's on my desk here. So this was the book that I started out to write. Um... So this is called Sales Strategies for Gentle Souls. But when I sat out, set out to read it, write it, I was found, I realised that I was actually writing two books together and they needed to be stripped down. So half of it was this professional stress solution. Now, the professional stress solution really shows how to break down stress and how to treat it on a scientific level, but also how to go into a doctor's and say, right, I know how to put this right, because there's so many people in the world who are suffering from problems that are made worse by stress. They have all sorts of physical pain that doesn't seem to have any, well, physical reason, but what we can say physiological ideology, perhaps, doesn't turn up on an MRI, it doesn't, it doesn't show on an ECG, you know, but strength, stress makes it worse. So, you know, people think that means it's in your head, but that, that's the last thing that it means. It means that we just haven't seen what the channels are in the body that are making that stress, so uh, that, that pain. So these books became two books. So then I was like, well, okay, well, I really think that when you're starting to learn about stress, then the most important organ that you need to be thinking about is the liver and I can't write a book without writing about the liver <laughs> so I wrote about the liver and that's is that on my desk it's a grey book and that's and that when I started to write that I realized actually that oh my goodness there's interesting stuff that isn't necessarily um scientific because I go into a lot about um medical astrology here because the um the planet that rules the liver is jupiter and so what does that mean then so it also the jupiter has a lot to do with its associations with how you feel about authority and um expansion and um not just uh, mental and spiritual expansion but also weight expansion so we're going back to the liver we're going to our diabetes and we're going to problems with um fats and things like that so it became a very interesting uh experience to write that now actually the essential liver cleanse is quite a short book it's i don't know 110 pages 110 pages and I, that felt a lot when i was writing that one but it got bigger <laughs> so i went into big uh, um books so at this point, I'm still writing for a professional aromatherapist. I felt this is my core area. This is who I want to talk to. This is who I want to um, show how to go out there and make some money, how to talk on a different level and how to do different to what the beauticians are doing out there and real clinical aromatherapy. Um, and so I felt that the most important condition to be able to do that with, or perhaps the first condition to do that with, was eczema. And so I wrote a book about eczema, which 
with, I have it on my desk, they're not all on my desk, is green and I remember spending many many hours with the guy who does my illustrations, uh, Robert, deciding that we wanted to do this house of cards because that's just what experts like, don't you think? You can get one thing right and everything tumbles and it's not just stress, it's not just diet, it's not just um, acid balance, there's so many different things that can go wrong and so that's how it really felt and I can remember thinking about the house of cards the whole time when I was writing this with my office which was then in the attic of the house and uh, yeah so this as I say this again was written for professional aromatherapists but when this went to the editor and my friends were looking through it and saying oh, I like this actually out of the six people who looked at it the four people all said the same things independently they all said why have you just done this for uh, professional aromatherapists? We think there'll be so many people out there who want to learn to heal their eczema in a way that you've made look very, very easy. So why? Why have you done that? And I thought, well, actually, it's because it needs that, but it also needs that, and it also needs that. Woo! They're all falling on the floor now. But it also has two other dimensions. The first is if somebody needs to learn about aromatherapy, and how to use essential oils then i don't want to be one of those people on the internet that just whacks out essential information like that and with no contraindications or safety or warning or explanations about it but also i don't want to be the person that gives an essential oil recipe and then doesn't explain that but actually it's how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your life and about your lifestyle that's going to make the difference about the uh the eczema and then at the beginning i suspected that the people who would read it were reading that would already know that actually it's turned out that that's not true so i haven't got the mind body spirit book but the essentials of the mind body spirit was um specifically kind of lesson two um here's lesson one and some of you may have seen this on uh, amazon it's actually you can download the ebook for free and it's over 300 pages um, about how to use essential oils for the physical body so this is in effect the basis of an essential oil recipe this is how we put together oils to treat immunity how to treat warts how to treat dry skin then lesson two is the essential oils of the mind body spirit and that's to me that's the core and the beauty of aromatherapy that the stuff that's going on up here gives you a rash I mean that's really weird and so extraordinary but what's more extraordinary is that you can take a bottle of oil you can sniff it this is oh bergamot I didn't so bergamot's quite good isn't it? Um, you know you can sniff it and it will reduce your anxiety and you will probably see a lot of your stress related conditions receding now to me that's way more exciting than anything else in this book but incidentally this book if you haven't got it please do go and get it because it'll introduce you to my writing and if nothing else um there's a profile of a hundred different oils and their usage on the physical body and their safety as quoted by Tissa and Young 2013 um, and you know just basic contraindications like how, which ones you can use in diabetes which ones would safe in pregnancy that kind of thing and so um, the reason why I detailed all of these together is in November 2014 13 2013 I released all those six books together and uh, suddenly people who'd never heard of the secret healer went hey <laughs> where have all these come from <laughs> and which was very very flattering because I got um, a lot of um, praise for those so in those day uh, those days since two, November 2013 we're obviously we're coming up to five years and that will be five years in the middle of the summit I wrote another 14 books not going to show you all of them just a couple um, the ones that probably made me the most famous really apart from the free book uh, this rose goddess medicine is I have to sh show you 
looks like a photo doesn't it Robert painted that isn't it extraordinary and the, this there's two versions of this is a black and white version and a color full color version which always sits on our table in the living room because I'm so proud of how beautiful it is <laughs> but you know what since I um I wrote this one I've had lovely compliments about it um, I do remember feeling incredibly proud when Marge Clark of um, Nature's Gift sent me a message saying you must come to to America to talk about Rosal. Nobody over here knows as much about Rosal. And when I did go over, I, I very shyly walked over and I said, hello, Marge. And she was like, who are you? And I said, oh, I'm Elizabeth Ashley. <laughs> I'll never forget it. She shouted right through the com uh, the um, convention hall. I just want to say anything that Elizabeth Ashley has written is worth reading. And God, I've never seen books disappear off my stall so fast in all my life. So that was amazing. So thank you for that, Marge. Um, but the best was yet to come. I think I'd just written my book about helichrism when I went to that um convention and when i was there actually i met with dr robert pappas who again i had to spend ages summoning up the courage to speak to because i was incredibly nervous of saying oh hello this is me probably you've never heard of me um and he was very very nice and he was uh selling cannabis oil and i was like wow i've never i didn't know such a thing existed and he went oh yeah 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 let me show you and when he was telling me what it could do i opened my, blew my mind and I, my brain was already ticking over i was going oh i've got to research this i've got to research this well then he laid down the challenge and he went you should write about this and i thought you know what i should and it was a great idea till i got home and started to try and do it oh my goodness so i will show you the book because this is the shortened version <laughs> it's massive absolutely massive and i'll be honest with you it fair near killed me writing this book but um do you know since it's just you and me i will tell you something that probably is a daft thing to say but when i got to the end of this book first of all there was nothing of me left the edits it had to go through the amount of hours of hours of hours of research and writing and do you know what it's it's only exciting for the first six months of research <laughs> and then afterwards it's really confusing and you go round and round and round in your head and that when i when it was finished i was like a zombie for about three months and it was only when we got to about march of this year because that came out last year is only when we came out about March this year my husband had said you know you're still not right are you and I said I'm really not I couldn't set my head to doing anything and he said why do you think it is and I said honestly I feel like I've done what I came here to do I really do genuinely feel that this this book was what I came here to do and that work was gone and it was emptied and the the power to write the drive to write had gone a little bit but that became apparent that it was going to get worse than that because in in those sort of 2014 2015 both of those years i'd written over a million words and i'm i haven't got it on today but most of the time i have to wear a special glove on this hand now so I can't really type very much at all, hence why, you, though some of you may have noticed, I've suddenly started trying to grow my nails and paint them so that I don't type because it really hurts to do so. And actually, you know the thing of flicking on your phone? Oh, even that, that hurt me then. They, that's how bad it is. So there won't be much writing for a while. And so there was a couple of things that from that I needed to, to come to terms with myself. The first is, of course, you can use essential oils and you can put that right. So I know, put some Roman chamomile on it, put some frankincense on it, um, some some lavender, some helichrysum. And do you know what I do? And it really works. But it only works for a while because then as soon as I start messing with my phone and I start trying to type again, then of course the muscle and the tendon becomes inflamed again. So this was a really, really interesting lesson that you know how you know lessons up here 
but you need to learn them here this was a lesson for me to learn here so the first thing was that you you've got to if you want to stay in the game of aromatherapy you've got to carry on researching but you can't keep typing it down and you've got to keep in contact with all of these professionals but it can't just be through writing because you're just going to have dreadful hands. I mean, already I can't open the tops of jars and things like that. So where am I going to be? So that had to stop. Um, but then going back to my original point about how shy I am, I find going to, con to conferences across the seas really terribly upsetting. And... You know, maybe uh, maybe it's my astrology. So I'm, I'm um, birthday is June the 29th. So that means that I am a Cancerian with Aries rising, um, which is a real, I mean, that's a psychotic <laughs> blend anyway. That's somebody really shy, but somebody who's really dy uh, dynamic and put themselves out there. Somebody who plans consistently, or somebody who doesn't plan and just goes boff. So... I'm already a bit of a freak show, <laughs> but if as more you learn about um, about astrology, the more you learn that your rising sign. People will say that you're more like your rising sign, and I would agree that you get more like your rising sign as you get older. But actually, specifically, what your rising sign is is the the mask that you put on to the outside world. It's your coping strategy. So this very bright, bubbly person who is very forthright is naturally me but it's not sustained for very long because actually the other person the, the real me just wants to be at home with my babies sitting on my plants and add that add to that on top the fact that i had a blood clot in my lungs and that a plane started that an airplane started that long haul journeys give me an inordinate amount of anxiety so i felt right what do we do we don't want to travel at all if we can help it we don't want to be sitting writing or actually we really do want to sit writing but we can't so what do we do and then just i remembered back that to late 2017 i'd been incredibly excited that there was going to be a summit about aromatherapy and i I've shared it loads on my Facebook page and I really blocked out loads of time and by three by three lectures in I was like I haven't learned anything I knew all that and it was quite a lot about Christianity and about the essential oils being in the Bible and ladies and gentlemen they are not in the Bible <laughs> They are plant extracts and soaked in vegetable oils. And so, well, as you can see, this is a, a very key response for me. My passion is for the history of uh, plant medicine and also for the psychoneuroendocrinology. Um, so the very latest scientific research about how the emotions affect neurotransmitters and then affect the physical body and for me how essential oils affect those neurotransmitters that affect the physical body and there was nothing out there for me there's nothing and i was really disappointed because i thought you know this industry there's not just me that has those passions it's not just me who who is fascinated by the real deep stuff it was a bit rubbish and so i thought you know what shut up moaning <laughs> shut up moaning do something about it and then the more i thought about it the more i thought you know what i can't write but i could do this and uh i, I like i say i have three children so i have um my beautiful beautiful daughter who actually if you follow my facebook page the secret healer writes and please actually i'm going to put the link to below please do follow it most of the uh, the um, canvas with the recipes on and the astrological stuff, I haven't done those. I've written the recipes, but I haven't done the prettiness. That's Amy Joanna, because she's an absolute diamond girl. Not only beautiful in face, but beautiful in spirit. And I'm so, so proud of her. And you will get to know her a bit more on that page. Um, middle child. <laughs> Middle child is Andrew, who is my little dream boy with the cleverest brain you've ever come across. 
who went to Oxford and did a master's at uh, in maths and again think about that from my point of view how intimidating it is to go into one of the world's oldest and most esteemed universities frightened of people frightened very 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 clever people but you know what they taught me something and I found this the most powerful thing that I have ever uh, learned and I hope that this comes across in the summit what they it, what Andy told me was that whoever you meet whatever that person whatever that situation they will know something that you don't know so that was very empowering for me because I thought well you know that means that I know something I know something that everybody in this room doesn't know and suddenly you feel like you're on a more level footing but it also makes you much more open to well what do they know what do they know and hopefully that comes across in the, the summit that I want to know what you know tell me what you know let me tell you what I know because that in you know what in the in the forums there's this real hatred I, I just don't like Facebook pages where people are going you're wrong about that you're wrong you don't know what you're talking about why there's so much else out there there is so much more there's so much we can learn about how to make people better in ways that the doctors have got to go through massive massive hoops to get things legislated to get things um, to go through clinical trials things that cost millions and millions and millions of dollars and years sometimes decades to do you know what we've got stuff at our fingertips in these little bottles that can do that straight away we don't need the pieces of paper to say oh, oh it's credible we see it every day in front of us every day I can guarantee you if the people that you are listening to and there will be so many other aromatherapists out there who see people getting better because of these little oils now to me that's much more exciting than going you shouldn't be swallowing essential oils you shouldn't be putting them on the neat, the neat on the skin you, well somebody else's job to be fair I'm not picking on the people that do that it's somebody else's job it's not my job so yeah today's where we're at so I'm gonna put a link down below to my uh, Facebook page but also to my Amazon page and um, you know what would be really nice if you bought thousands of books <laughs> be great but um there's also a youtube channel with not very much on it but um if for some reason you like listening to the black country accent and uh you like the shed which let me tell you about this you all oh, where's me the first book i wrote oh i don't know where it's gone now you know the hmm oh, it's on the floor one sec so the, secret, so the sales structures is for gentle souls. Can you see them right in the background? There's a stag just there behind me. I was slimmer then. <laughs> I didn't. I could have painted that myself, couldn't I? Uh, there he is. And here's my logo. And here he is behind me. This was a picture that one of my friends had done for me. And uh, he's a symbol of peace and happiness and gentleness to others. But... Um, I also knew a lovely story about in the ancient days the healers would follow the stags and the deer to where they're grazing and they had the best and most healing herbs and I've always loved that fact and so yeah there's the secret healers stag so there's a little bit about me and uh, hopefully I haven't got too bored <laughs> and um, yeah so this is me the face of the uh, beyond the essential oil recipe summit and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you all